there's a story in the news from Australia. So this video is going to be somewhat awkward for any flat earthers who are watching. Because among that community, aside from all being incredibly bad at physics, there's quite a common belief that Australia doesn't exist. The theory, and I'm using that term incredibly loosely, is that everyone who's flown to Australia is actually flown to part of South America because all the airlines are in on it. And that every Australian that we've met throughout our lives are crisis actors working for NASA. Now I find that hard to believe because I've seen Australian soap operas and something very common amongst the Aussies is most of them can't act for shit. The story itself is about a chain of Australian childcare centres called About Children because they've jumped on the woke bandwagon and are now telling parents that they should ask for their baby's consent to change their nappies or diapers if you're watching in the new world. Now I'm not a parent but I know a fair bit about children because I used to be one. And I can say with absolute certainty, I was shitting long before I was talking. I don't recall laying in my cot as a baby and saying, Mother dearest, I appear to have soiled myself. I not only consent, but I would welcome you cleaning my arsehole for me. About children also say that parents should wait until the child is ready to be changed. But which is the healthier option? Changing a child as soon as humanly possible or letting them spend the afternoon rolling around, smearing themselves in their own turds. They've also said that children should not be punished or put in time out. So essentially, children should not learn that their actions have consequences. They've gone as far to say that it's okay for a child to hit another child. Now, I don't know how woke people have suddenly decided that it's okay to express oneself with fucking violence. If one goes through life hitting people, then eventually someone is going to hit or more likely stab them back. Children need structure and discipline. But we can see there are so many young people now who are entitled crying snowflakes, upset by everything. In fact, show me a woke person and I'll show you someone who should have been hit more as a child. Now, I'm not advocating violence against children, but kids do need to learn right from wrong. But thinking about it, there's a lot of parents who also need a damn good slap. If we go along with this narrative, then the next generation are going to be violent, poorly behaved, self-obsessed narcissists who think it's okay to shit themselves. And it's no surprise this idea has come from Australia, because their ancestors were all bloody convicts. By definition, people who don't like following rules. And that in itself sort of sums up Britishness. We'd found this beautiful new country, which was huge with loads of resources, and we sent the criminals there whilst we continue to live on this poxy, overcrowded little island next door to the French. I mean, look, this is July in England. I recently had an American friend of mine ask, does it rain much in the UK? And I replied, only when it isn't fucking snowing. As ever, thanks for watching. There's a story in the news from Austria. Australia. This video's gonna, uh, fuck it. Childcare group, it's fucking raining again. I'm not advocating violence against children. Some of the little fuckers deserve it though, don't they? And that's what... Same old... Bollocks. And for that... Oh, shut up, you fucking mong. The theory is fucking theory from Flat Earth. The wild concept. And for that... Oh, fuck it up the arse.